Hey guys, it's Janice from Ozark Family Homestead and we are starting another what we eat in a week video. So for the next week, I'm going to try very hard to remember to film what our family of nine, for those of you that don't know, we have seven children, ages 18 down to two. I'm going to try to film what we eat for our breakfast, our lunches, and our suppers. So we probably need to make up another reminder to put on the table because that's what we did last time and it really did help, didn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'll show you what we're having for breakfast this morning. All right, breakfast this morning. Let me see, oh, the light. Let's come over here. Let's come over here where the lighting is better. It is a cheesy bacon scramble and hash browns for breakfast today. So these are eggs from our chickens. These were actually laid back in the springtime. I think it was April and they have been in a lime water solution for all of that time. So these have been preserved in that solution and we can pull them out, wash them up and scramble them and they taste great. So, and this was just leftover bacon that we had had from a seven layer salad that I had made previously. So that is breakfast and I've got, well, Abigail was working on the vacuuming there in the living room, getting that done. I do a good day. And you're already eating. I do a good day. You, I don't know. Helped with the trash cans. Helped with the trash cans. Yes, yeah. you did. You're a good helper. And the boys are still outside finishing up animal chores. So. The blue trash can and the brown trash can, and you empty them in the mornings. Yes. That's your morning jobs? Mm -hmm. Yes, you did good. Um, and you got dressed, and you fixed your uh, hair, I got me. and you brushed your teeth. I got me. You're sorry? Oh, you need to put that up? Yeah, I thought it was clean hour. Oh, you thought it was cleaning hour? <laughs> I like happy helpers. I don't know what that is. I found it on the floor. Okay, guys, we're going to get back to finishing up our morning job so we can get going on homeschool. But I will see them back at lunchtime, right, Abigail? Yep. Because we're going to remember. Yep. Okay, lunchtime. All right, lunch time, and we're just doing a quick lunch today. Uh, hot dogs and chips, easy peasy, quick lunch. These are hot dog buns that were still left over from the meet and greet, and they've been sitting in the freezer waiting on us. So thawed those out this morning. Um, of course, we've got all the toppings here for um, hot dogs, ketchup, mustard. This is dill relish that um, we canned. This is last year's dill relish. So, and then we've got, well, I've got broth going in here. This is day one for the broth. It'll simmer in here for two days. Got our beef hot dogs here. I get those from Sam's Club. All the chips, these are leftover chips. We just recently got back from a trip to Oklahoma and we took chips with us and we ordered pizza one night for supper. And so we came back with lots of bags. <laughs> of opened chips so those are going to be used up today with lunch and I've got over here we've got well I've got kombucha um, ready to have the scoby added to the new jar kombucha and some leftover these are caramel bars and um, we'll divide those up for dessert today too we're finishing up some homeschool and having everybody get their plates and then we will eat. We'll do some read aloud during lunchtime too. We're reading about what George Washington Carver and then some um, Burgess. Yeah, yeah, some of that book too. We'll read that during lunchtime. So, all right, guys, I guess we will see you back at supper time. All right, supper time. Well, Sarah's got a little plate made up here. Okay. Salmon patties, peas, and carrots with, this is a big, big plate of daisy butter that hasn't been put in the molds yet for, um, to be put in the freezer. Daisy's our cow. For those of you that don't know, we call it daisy butter because it came from cream from our Jersey cow, Daisy. So, 
This is what's for supper tonight. There's still carrots being scooped out of the pots. There's still some salmon patties cooking. We like to cook them in the sesame oil. It just adds flavor to them there too. And all of ours don't fit in one skillet. So we do it in two batches. And then the peas back here in the back. Still got the broth going. It'll go for two days in here. Let me see. In there. I need to crank it up a little bit. It's supposed to be simmering and the temperature got a little too low. So I'm going to turn the temperature up just a little bit there so it can get back to a bubble. And let's see. They're kind of filling in here. Coming into the table, we have a live stream tonight, so Sean and I are trying to go ahead and eat real quick so we can sit down and do a live stream with you guys. But children can continue to eat while we're chit-chatting with everybody. <laughs> and sometimes I'll peek over. Sometimes Abigail peeks over. So, all right, we'll finish up supper, and we still haven't made up our film food yet. But I think we've done good for day one without having our reminder on there. So... <laughs> David was right. After the last one, he told me, we should keep this for next time. And I said, no, just throw it away. We'll make up a new one. And now I wish we would have kept it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next time we make one, we're going to keep You're it. You're so smart, David. I know. I man. should listen to you. Okay. We'll see you guys at breakfast tomorrow. All right. Breakfast this morning. We had a change of plans. We were going to have oats, but... We didn't get them going last night, so this morning we're having, let me come in here and I'll look a little better, some smoothies that Sarah's making up. So here's the deal with the smoothies. We, um, I had made up a batch of yogurt, that's what's here and that one's empty, um, from milk from Daisy our cow, and for whatever reason, I don't know, this yogurt did not thicken. It was still very thin and very runny. I've made a batch since then and it came out fine, but this one was thin and instead of wasting it or anything, we're turning it into smoothies. So by adding frozen bananas, these have just been sitting in a bag in the freezer. They're chiseling off bananas here. They're adding bananas. Oh, Miss Claudia, that would be Sarah's tea for this morning. <laughs> um, they're adding peanut butter. Pour it in your little cup. Yeah. It, yours is coming in the next batch, okay? You get the next ones, baby. You get to share one with Sam. You're going to share with Sam? <laughs> okay, so they're adding frozen bananas, peanut butter. Um, let's see. There is some homemade vanilla extract there. And then which berries have you used so blueberries. far? Blueberries. Okay, just frozen blueberries? Yes. Okay, and so we get this pretty color here with frozen blueberries. But that is what they're doing for breakfast. And we're using the cups, too, that uh, a viewer sent us many months ago. And so this is our first time using them. And look what they do. They turn all the pretty colors show up when you put something cold in there. The rest of yours is cold. This is what they look like before. They look just, you know, kind of plain white. Mine's happy. Here, Anna, let me show them yours because I think it shows up great in yours. Yeah, look how pretty when you put the cold drinks in there. So they're enjoying their smoothies. And then we said if they're still hungry afterwards, we've got tons and tons of those mandarin oranges that were on sale last week. Those little baby oranges. So, all right. Breakfast. And then we still got animal jobs and stuff to do. Here, turn around, baby. Show them your hair. She doesn't have her hair fixed yet, but Anna's got such pretty long hair. We still have to get it into a braid, though. <laughs> One thing at a time. Do the next right thing. Okay, guys, we will see you back at lunchtime, I guess. And lunchtime today is clean out the fridge. So it's a smorgasbord, a buffet that makes it sound fancier if you say that that's what you're having instead of cleaning up all the leftovers out of the fridge. So options for today are some hot dogs and there's some chips left over still or there's salmon patties from last night's supper with some a little bit of carrots, peas. We even had a can of corn that was still in the refrigerator. This is cream of barley. If anyone wants to doctor up a bowl of cream of barley, the plate of butter is still still here. And uh, this is from 
uh, the cream that we got from Daisy or Cal. So it's a beautiful yellow color, but that's to put on top of the carrots and the peas and the corn. And then we have lunch meat still that needs to go ahead and be used up and some bread from the store. This was on sale for 99 cents, so that needs to be used up as well. Whoever decides to have a sandwich can work on those chips there too. But there's always that, and we still have a tremendous amount of the mandarins here that were on sale this last week. So those are available. We haven't gotten into the pomegranates yet. They're down there in the bottom. I do, um, people have asked about my fruit little baskets here and these are in our Amazon storefront our family's Amazon store so if you click on the link and I'm going to try to remember to put it in the description box if you click on that link and use it these can be sent to you all but our family gets a little bit of a commission I have used these for years I mean and you can tell they hold a lot of weight <laughs> they are sturdy but they were actually marketed they were actually sold as being uh, planters they came with those coconut liners and uh, we just we got rid of those and just use these for fruit and vegetables so keeps the stuff off my counter holds a lot of weight and works well for this little space that I had this little skinny space here between the upper cabinets and the countertop so I will Try to remember to put that in the description box, and otherwise we will see you guys back at supper time. Okay, everybody, it is supper time. Janice is still out doing shopping, so of course you'll get a video on that. So she gave us the green light to go ahead and eat and make the video, and she will eat when she gets back. So let me show you what we're having. Sarah... We're having chicken. What exactly have we got in this chicken? So this is roasted chicken seasoned with salt and, pep and, and pepper. And I've got onions down underneath it. Um, Mama really likes this um, style of chicken here. Okay, then we got potatoes. I've got, par I've got buttered parsley potatoes. Um, the butter is actually our daisy butter from our cow. Okay. And then um, we've got Parmesan zucchini. It's just zucchini with Parmesan with lots of spices on top on top of it. Okay, and, I, and this is always a hit. I, I, I always just really love this um, Parmesan zucchini. It is really, really good. I never had this growing up, so this has been uh, really neat uh, having this uh, as now that I'm older. But n never even knew such a thing existed when I was younger. So uh, uh, I really enjoy this uh, quite a bit. So, okay, that does it for supper, and they'll be seeing you for breakfast later. All right, it's breakfast time, but Rebecca is trying to sneak off outside. You going to go outside after you eat? No, I'm done. You're done? You haven't eaten yet. No, I'm done. You're not done. Big brothers and sisters have taught her a skill. It's I can slingshot things. It's very useful. It's a very useful skill. It drives friends bonkers. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Got the wood stove going this morning. It is chilly, chilly. We, for breakfast, are having oats. So, and this is just a staple. We have this about once a week. This is oats that are soaked overnight to help make them more digestible. Um, we use a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Uh, in the past, we've used some whey. You could use lemon juice to soak them in. And then in the morning, we put uh, raisins and some more water in there and cook them up. I will do a video. I've had several ask about videos on this process. And at some point, I will get a video out. It's very, very easy. And so that is breakfast. Um, we call it soaked oats with raisins. That's what we call it around here. And we'll start making up bowls. Um, they'll add some butter to it, as well as some cinnamon and some maple syrup. And she did eat. Her bowl is here. Sarah. I guess Sam made her up some. <laughs> you did eat. You are smart, baby girl. <laughs> She snuck the first little bowl in and we didn't know it. So I've got children outside. Our friend that is um, 
helping with the summer kitchen is here. Let me see. See what we can see through the window. He's out there working on the deck on the summer kitchen. And I have children that keep trying to watch him work. So that is in process. And we need to holler at children to get them in here so they can go ahead and eat and give him some space to get his things done so he can focus. But um, I'm gonna try to remember to come back at lunchtime and we'll see you guys then. All right, guys, lunchtime. Anna's making up some bowls. We're just having homemade hamburger helper today. And we did it even easier than usual because um, we didn't pull out meat to thaw and cook this morning. So there were baggies of already cooked ground beef that had been cooked up a month ago, maybe, something like that. So pulled it out of the freezer, just uh, warmed it up and added it to the cheesy noodles there. So I think Sarah has some leftovers going because Sarah chooses not to eat the homemade hamburger helper. But um, here, I'll turn the camera around and just show you what it looks like in the pot. <laughs> there you go. Anna's just filling up Abigail's bowl there. This is just the noodles the white cheddar cheese powder that is in our Amazon storefront as well if that's something you would like to buy and use for your own home um, some butter some milk and uh, and the ground beef we used homemade so, butter this time we did it was daisy butter wasn't it <laughs> it makes it taste better when it comes from the farm so yeah we could have used deer meat if we had thought about thawing it out ahead of time too but um, while I've got you over here on the counter, we've got, this is kombucha that's going. Those are the kombucha scobies there on top. I have a whole video on how I make kombucha for the family without using fresh fruit. And I'll try to put the link in the description box for that. Um, this here is apple cider vinegar. And there's also a scoby, let's see, that grows naturally in that. That's right up here at the top, that lighter white thing it'll be a scoby similar to this one and then this is kind of our fermentation <laughs> section here of the house and over here these are water kefir grains which is a probiotic drink and so Sarah keeps those fed as well Sarah pretty much handles these two and I handle the kombucha so and she also I didn't show you this this morning uh, this is her sourdough so she has him pulled out it's a he, <laughs> for those of you that were wondering. She has him pulled out of the refrigerator because he's due to be fed today. So that's what's going on in the kitchen. I still have my broth simmering and uh, it'll be ready to jar up soon. I do plan on using that broth this weekend. So, okay, that's it supper time tonight and those of you that have watched some of our previous videos will recognize the german meal that uh, we've made previously we did a whole video on it and so i will try to put that link in the description box below uh, this would be sauerbraten with a cabbage side dish i don't remember the name of the uh braised red cabbage braised red cabbage that sounds good to me and then some german noodles that viewers had sent us we had two separate viewers send us recipes for like the exact same meal so and we were also sent ingredients and we had enough to make two batches so it worked out really well we really enjoyed it the first time around and i'm telling you guys i wish we had was it smell a vision here the house smells so good you guys so we need to get what, daddy and uh, uh, Rebecca in here and then we'll go ahead and pray and eat and we'll see you guys at breakfast tomorrow morning all right breakfast this morning is sausage scramble this is where we take uh, ground turkey meat which I just got on a clearance reduced price at Kroger. Um, took one pound of that and mixed it with the homemade sausage seasoning that I have made up. Uh, cook it, add eggs, scramble it all up together, and serve that. Sometimes you can put chili 
or chili cheese <laughs> cheese on top shredded cheese on top but that's good stuff and then biscuits Sarah's had these in the freezer from back when we had tons of buttermilk left over from making butter she would use that buttermilk and just make up biscuits keep them in the freezer and they're there waiting on us for whenever we need to eat them so sausage scramble and biscuits this morning and they can doctor up their biscuits with butter honey there's a little bit of what kind of jam is that pear. sarah pear jam Hello. okay and so that is breakfast then rebecca's already had her first plate and she's getting seconds now so we'll get everybody else in here to eat all right super quick super easy lunch time so i recently did a shopping trip at kroger and was able to get these salad kits on markdown for a dollar 76 a piece comes with everything the dressing all the stuff in there and um, we just put three of those baggies in a bowl along with some canned chicken today as well and tossed it all together and that's lunch now the deal is this is a new flavor we've never tried the buffalo ranch before and we're not spicy people <laughs> and um, Anna put this all together for me and she said mama these are spicy so she put one bag in and said we'd leave the other bags and people can add to it if they want to and she said the dressing was a little spicy too so she put two of the dressing things in here and people can add more dressing to their salads if they decide they want more so everybody will get to adjust we are super busy cleaning house today we are hosting a gathering here tomorrow so there's some food prep to do and then of course clean up inside outside just doing all the things so food is quick today because we're busy with other stuff but i will be back with you guys for supper Anna, what are you thinking? It's kind of spicy. It's kind of spicy. Are you glad you didn't put the extra stuff in there? Yeah. Yeah? David, what are you thinking? I haven't tried it yet. You haven't tried it yet? I'm scared. <laughs> <It's> scared. <laughs> We're not spicy people. It's not bad. It's just, uh, I think the full kit as it was would have been too much for us. Andrew, what do you think? I like it. You do like it? I know it's spicy. Okay. But you like it without the extra stuff in there. I like it too. I think it's really, really good. But not with the extra. Ooh, too spicy. <laughs> One extra bag would be fine. One Twelve. extra? <laughs> okay. Well, we've eaten it and survived. Okay, guys. Change of plans. Children are happy with the change of plans. So, I just got a phone call that some friends are going to be here unexpectedly, not here at the house, but here in our area unexpectedly. And they have asked us to go out to eat supper with them tonight. So you see this? <laughs> this was supper tonight because we are preparing to have a gathering here at our house tomorrow. We were making supper easy for tonight. And uh, now we're turning this off. We're going to let it cool down and stick it in the fridge. That's the plan. So, <laughs> so we get to go out to eat with friends tonight. And children were just so excited. So that was a nice surprise. And then I don't have to worry about supper because it's already kind of mostly done. <laughs> so, okay. I don't know if I'm going to take video tonight or not with friends, you know, other people being on camera and stuff like that. Um, not everybody likes that, but um, I may see you all a little bit tonight for supper time, or I may just touch base with y'all tomorrow while we're getting ready for company to arrive at our house. But either way, I'll be back with you guys. For you all, it'll be just a second or two. All right, guys, you kind of get a double whammy here of breakfast and lunch in process here. So we, um, this was breakfast. These were the pumpkin cream cheese muffins that Sarah makes. Some prefer no cream cheese. So we've got a little bit of both here, but this was breakfast. And then the remainder is getting laid out here just for our church family to snack on while they're over here for our gathering today. Um, 
Let's see, Abigail's helping clean up the floor. We're doing just last minute pretty up the house. David's got our table decorations all lit up, even though it's daytime. It still makes me happy with it being lit up. And Rebecca's still eating on her muffin in there. We've got the table set up in the living room. This is how we usually set things up when we have a group over here. So we can eat in both places. You're gonna eat there? I don't want to be here. They'll be here soon? Yes. Yes, soon. And some can even eat, even eat outside on the patio tables if it's pretty enough. So we had fun with our friends at the restaurant last night. I did not video, but we had a good time, didn't we? That was a good surprise. So breakfast, lunch is the cheeseburger soup and I've already done a whole video on it. Sarah's getting the potatoes chopped up for me. I've already got the meat, carrots, onions, all browning up in here. I'm doing a two and a half batch of cheeseburger soup. So there's five pounds of beef in there. And uh, the pasta house salad is already made up. I have to do the dressing still. So I will get that done. We've got coffee set out. These are the leftover creamers from the meet and greet. So they are still being used as well. And I'm using this stevia now that a viewer sent me and I'm, I'm liking this one. So we still have to get our sweet tea, our pitchers of sweet tea and lemonade set out for the kids. Oh, I'm trying to think and get stuff put in the dishwasher. So I will try to pick up the camera again once we have food set out. Of course, other of the church members are bringing things also. And uh, I'll see if I can remember to uh, run the camera around and display everything so you guys can see kind of what all we end up with. Breathe. <sighs> okay, we're going to go do the next right thing. All right, everybody's here and lunch is ready. So I'm just gonna go through the countertops and show you what we're eating for lunch. Uh, little slider sandwiches. We've got some here made out of sourdoughs. We do have some gluten-free folks here. And then just regular Hawaiian roll um, slider sandwiches here. And you guys, they smell so good. And then this here is a gluten-free potato soup with the fixins right here to add to the top of it. And I've maxed out my big stock pot <laughs> with the cheeseburger soup. So, and like I said, I'll try to put a link to the uh, video that has the recipe for this, this uh, cheeseburger soup because it's a favorite. Um, we've got everything laid out here for the drinks except for the lemonade. I still have to get the lemonade pulled out. But all the coffee stuff. And then for the sides, here's that pasta house salad that I make. And then we have some stuffed eggs and snacky table over here we just got all kinds of snacks and stuff that everybody can graze on all day long so we're going to go ahead and do our prayer and get to eating so um we're having the same thing for supper time so i'm probably not going to film again for supper but i'll see you guys back tomorrow morning at breakfast all right morning time so they've been outside doing some animal chores and stuff and uh breakfast is just kind of a hodgepodge after visiting with friends i mean we had people here till what, 10 o'clock 11, 11 o'clock last night i know it was late but we had such a good time you guys we enjoy visiting with our friends so leftover muffins for breakfast this morning um, pancakes that were made back when we had an abundance of buttermilk and then frozen so these are an option this morning um, Sarah has gone with I'm gonna show them well there's not much left in there <laughs> her homemade granola with the dried cranberries in there and then we still had Daisy the cow milk so that's what Sarah's breakfast is this morning and of course we've got coffee made up and uh, we still went ahead and just used the, you know, normal person coffee pot since it was still out from yesterday instead of my regular percolator. But that is breakfast. And everybody's just kind of coming and going as they get done with morning chores and getting something to eat. <laughs> so I'll see you guys again at lunchtime. And remember... Mind you, I'm gonna mind you. You're gonna remind. We've actually done good this week, even without our little note on the table. So, yay! <laughs>
Lunchtime is clean out mama's fridge. Yay! Daddy, so cake, 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 cake. So we've got leftovers from yesterday from our gathering that we had, but then there's other odds and ends in here too. So what's left of the pasta house salad and the cheeseburger soup? There's some sausage scramble over there. And this was a little bit of the German meal, wasn't it? Uh, part of a salmon patty. <laughs> some of that Kroger salad that was on sale mixed with chicken. Um, there was some cakes that were left here from uh, from the gathering yesterday. Some stuffed eggs. You're telling big stories. Yeah, I'm going to be all the <laughs> All that we eat. Yes. Are you excited? Yes. Yes. Look at all the food that Rebecca can eat. What are you going to eat? Salad, cake, cake. Salad, <laughs> cake, and cake. Yeah. No chicken. Chicken. <laughs> well, we've got some of the purple cabbage here because that went along with the German meal. There's some oats with raisins. <laughs> There's some buttered parsley potatoes. A little bit of the crispy chicken, that baked chicken, that, but that's what you made when I went grocery shopping, yes. wasn't it? And two little piddly pieces of the zucchini, the roasted zucchini. So we're just going to work on this and see what we can get cleared out of my refrigerator. So everybody's pretty hungry. Yes. Okay, let's <laughs> we'll 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 Where's our plates? Yes. Let's go get the plates. Okay. <laughs> Is Anna getting you some yum yums? Yeah. Yeah. You tell her what you want. I like eggs. You do like those eggs. She really loves those stuffed eggs. So, I know most people call them deviled eggs, but we've just gotten in the habit we call them stuffed eggs. So that's what we're talking about. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Do you want any more? No. No, just that. Oh. <laughs> I <laughs> thought the cake was going. <laughs> oh, baby girl. You gonna let Sarah get her plate? Yes. Yes, okay. We'll let Sarah eat too. There you go, big girl. Okay, they're going after the cheeseburger soup. What is my favorite recipe? It's your favorite one. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I'm gonna get some too. Yeah, I don't know if you guys um, rewind a little bit and see that big old stock pot of soup. Well, that's all that was left after that monstrous stock pot. And there was still potato soup, too, that our friends brought. So we ate very well yesterday. Okay, supper time tonight is what we call, it's a recipe called Molly's Chicken. I have no clue who Molly is. But that's where the recipe came from. I found it on all recipes years ago. And basically, it's chicken drumsticks. You could use any piece of meat, uh, chicken that you wanted to. And then there's a tomato sauce, um, a seasoned tomato sauce that you put it in the crock pot. And it just cooks until it's ready. So we make up some rice and uh, everybody gets drumsticks and a ladle of the sauce over the rice as well. And then we like to steam broccoli with it. So that is supper tonight. And there's still cake left over. And actually, we do have uh, two frozen pies. Mm, I forgot, we're, there were lots of desserts left over from yesterday. So here, I'll show you what the, this is what's left in the crock pot. Yeah, just a sauce there that everything cooks in and it tastes good and it's easy. This was the meal we were supposed to have the other night before friends called and invited us out to supper. So this has been sitting in the refrigerator and we just got the crock pot going this morning. So easy, easy supper for us tonight and I'll see you guys in the morning. Rebecca, what is, what is today? No, 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 no. What is today? I want to talk about Papa. No, later. What is what is today? Hmm. Poppy. A big tablet. No. Is today your birthday? Yes. It is. And how old are you going to be turning? Three. You're turning three? Yes. What are we having for breakfast on your birthday? Um. 
Rebecca, hmm? what, what are we going to have for breakfast on your birthday? Hmm. Cere cereal? Are we, are we having cere cereal? And, uh, and, uh, and leftover pancakes? Yeah. Did you, did you already eat? Mm -mm. You didn't? I did not eat my pancake. I gave you a pancake. Okay. So, what on earth? <laughs> New song was behind me. Okay, so we're having, uh, yes, today is Rebecca's birthday, and we're having cereal for breakfast, a bit of these leftover over pancakes still. We had them in the um, fridge, and uh, they've actually just been taking them and just snacking on them, just at random. <laughs> and, okay, so this is cereal that um, I that uh, Mama got. I don't remember on sale or not, but um, yeah, this is one of Rebecca's favorite kinds, isn't it? Oh. Okay, hold on. You need help, baby? Yeah, I need you. I talk. You need me to talk? No, what do you want me to talk about? Oh, great, you, you got a I talk. Yeah. Hold on. Okay, so baby's all good with with her jacket again. So we're having this cereal. Um, what's left of the daisy milk, we're almost out of it. And then we're gonna start getting milk from a friend. Is that, is that the last jar? Oh, nope. Second to last? Third to last. There's a pint and a half gallon. Okay, so one more day's worth. Yes. Okay. And then this is the granola. We have a video on how to make our homemade granola, granola here. Um, I'm filming because Mama's on the phone with Grandma because she called for that one's birthday. And she's that big? That big. That big. So, we'll see you guys at lunchtime. And why are you hiding? I'm not hiding. You're not hiding. No, I'm not hiding. It just appears in the man. Prove to me that you weren't hiding. You're hiding. And we made it all this time. Nearly a full week of meals. And what did we do today, Sarah? What did we do today? Well, we didn't film lunch. So, okay, so here's the deal with lunch. Our friend that's here working on the summer kitchen came inside and sat with us during lunchtime and it just kind of distracted everybody and nothing got filmed. So, what we did do for lunch, though, was cheese quesadillas. Rebecca loves those. You guys know today is her birthday. Did you show them the happy birthday up here, Sarah? Did I? I don't know. I'm not sure, but yeah. This is our little happy birthday decorations. And um, today's her birthday. And Rebecca loves the little cheese quesadillas that we make up because she calls them little pizzas when they're mm -hmm. sliced up. So that was lunch and applesauce. She requested applesauce. So you guys, the three-year-old wanted cheese quesadillas and applesauce for lunch. And that's what she got. And Sarah, <clears throat> sorry, Sarah is now working on her birthday cake, which we do plan to show when it's all said and done. And we even bought store ice cream because Daisy the cow is dry and we don't have cream for making our own ice cream. But um, supper is getting started and we hope to have another video here showing supper time with the birthday girl. All right, supper time. We are having the big Mexican feast. All the tacos, there's the taco meat. We just did three pounds tonight and our homemade taco seasoning that I make up. Guacamole, we've got 20 avocados in that batch of guacamole there. And then just some lettuces, this would be from the greenhouse. And then some cheese and some of those Roma tomatoes that were on sale in a recent grocery haul. And we'll just uh, thin it out with some salsa there since all we had was three tomatoes. So we'll do this. And then we have cake and ice cream. So we'll get started making up some plates. All right, we've got plates made up. And are you having a big birthday supper? Yes, what are you having? Cake. What? Cake. 
cake? Yes. <laughs> you're having your, your taco meat and your guacamole. And why are we eating in the living room, baby? Because we're watching a movie. Yep. Okay, what movie did we decide to watch? The Parent Trap. Miss Erin, we are watching The Parent Trap. Sarah made up ta taco salad for hers, but everybody's picking between hard shells, soft shells, whatever it is they're wanting. So we're going to go ahead and say prayer and get our movie started. We'll come back for cake and ice cream, though. What is today, baby? My birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> what did Sarah make for you? A cake. What's yeah. on the What's on the cake? A duck duck. A duck duck. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah, a baby duck duck. A baby duck duck. Did you tell Sarah thank you? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she did a good job on it. So. And this is her birthday cake. And then there's some cupcakes. Andrew, you frosted the cupcakes, didn't you? Yeah. I'm Andrew's happy. got skills. Oh, you going to show happy. everybody your... <laughs> What's that? Uh, Jabba the Hutt. Jabba the Hutt cupcake? <laughs> yeah, I had some extra icing. <laughs> Jabba the Hutt cupcake. Cookie. Cookie. Not, not, wait, wait, cookie. She cookies. Oh, you call them cookies? Yeah. They're cupcakes. Yay, cupcake. 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 Cupcakes for us? Yes. <laughs> okay, you ready to get some? No, I have a happy birthday to you. Oh, we gotta sing happy birthday to you. How does it go? <laughs> Forget the act. Can candles. Uh oh, we missed the candles? Yes. Okay. And then we have to sing the song? Yes. How does the song go? Da 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 I. Da 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 I. Can you sing the song, baby? I know. I know you know the song because you've been singing it for like the past month. We get the candles? Okay. <laughs> you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rebecca. Happy birthday to you. Ready to start the movie back up again? Yes. How does Java taste? Don't mind about my tail. <laughs> <laughs> you bit off his tail end? Yeah. Andrew. Okay. Good cake? Yeah. Good yeah. ice cream? You yeah. like it? Yeah, I got chocolate. You like chocolate? It's your favorite? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You ready for movie? Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, breakfast this morning. Oh, here, Anna, let me scoot in here. Just cream of barley again. Quick cream of barley. We were up later last night watching our movie and doing Rebecca's birthday stuff. So they're doctoring it up with butter and cinnamon and maple syrup. And everybody just gets to make it up the way that they like it. Andrew and David are already, or David and Sam are already over there eating. So, they're going to get their breakfast together, and that will be the end of our What We Eat in a Week videos. We made it, and we only missed one meal, and we didn't have the film food. <laughs> I don't think that's too shabby, huh? <laughs> All right, guys, so that is the end. What We Eat in a Week this time around. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. And then if you could tell your family and friends to watch Ozark Family Homestead, it would help our family's channel grow.
Thank you so much, and we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.